turn this so it's the normal way. Ah. There. Hi. I'm gonna just wait a few seconds for everybody to get in here. Or sign in or whatever. Hi. My week was great. I'm trying to think of what I did. I worked a couple times. That's about it. I work at a bakery and um, I work at a, like an art gallery where I teach kids on weekends. So kind of just, that's about it as far as my official weekly schedule. She's great. She's taking a nap, <laughs> which is like, so I've got like maybe 20 minutes to get everything done. So, but this time I actually prepped everything. So like, I'm pretty much just ready to go, which is great. Okay, I might have to change. I tried to get a new tripod thing, like a little, or not a tripod, but like a little um, camera holdy thing. But I don't think this one's meant to be vertical, which I like because I can like read what you're saying. Because when it's sideways, I can't. Um, her room's coming along great. Uh, it's just, I, I kind of took a break from the painting, just working on other stuff right now around the house. But um, I'll get back to it. She doesn't really sleep in there yet. So it's kind of like, I'm just kind of doing it as I feel like doing it. Hi, I'm great. Um, so I'll go ahead and just kind of say what I'm gonna do today, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna be making a butternut squash ravioli. And the reason why is because I grew like way too many butternut squashes. So I've got like just a bunch of them around my house right now and I just need to cook them. So this is what a butternut squash looks like, by the way. You can buy it in Kroger. Most Actually, every grocery store pretty much should carry these. They're very cheap. I just grew them and I've gotten a surplus of butternut squashes. So I'm gonna make some something out of it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to start doing like a thing where I post a picture of something I'm making and then the following Sunday I'll make it in front of you. Like something that I posted that week, I'll make it in front of you guys. But I was gonna make the spooky like hamburger thingies that I posted the other night, but honestly, I'm just like, I've eaten them like the last like five nights in a row. I'm kind of just burnt out. So I'm just gonna try to make something a little, a little healthier, I guess, because burger, cheeseburgers aren't really that healthy. So I'm gonna try to eat something that's a little more wholesome. But yeah, cool, I'm gonna pin that. Hold on, wait, oh, no. Okay, cool, got it. I think, did I? Okay, I think I got it. Um, cool, perfect, awesome. Um, okay, so I'll just go ahead and get started on this. Um, so to get started, it's super, like this actually, this recipe is super easy. Like it seems like making ravioli is really hard, but it's really not. Um, so I'll just take this, I hope it doesn't flip around. So I'm starting with Earth Balance Butter. Um, it's just my go-to vegan butter. It's not that expensive and you can find it like literally everywhere. So first we're gonna start with a saucepan that's heated to medium and my stove runs really hot so I'm doing it like just slightly below medium. Um, so that's just, uh, so it's gonna be two tablespoons. So there's one. And my butter's kind of already soft, so it's pretty easy to scoop out. So that's two tablespoons of butter. And I'm gonna try to set this. This tripod sucks. Okay, I might have to switch this, but we're gonna try it. Ah. I'm gonna try to make this work. Okay. So yeah, that's just two tablespoons of butter in a medium heated saucepan. Let me get that out for There. Cannot use metal on these pans. I keep like almost doing that. Okay, so you just wanna melt that and once it's like all melted, so just wait till it's like completely melted. And then the next step for this is you're just going to add one fourth teaspoon of all of these seasonings. So I've got 
pumpkin pie spice. I know it sounds like it wouldn't go in ravioli, but it's more savory if you don't like add sugar to it. So just if you use it in savory cooking, it works really well as long as there's no sugar. Um, cumin and nutmeg and cinnamon. So I'm gonna add one fourth teaspoon of all of these different things. So I'm gonna try to set this up better. This is, wait, okay. Hopefully that works. Cool. So I've got my one fourth teaspoon right here. So first I'm gonna start with one fourth teaspoon nutmeg and I'm gonna put it in my saucepans over there. It's kind of hard to move this tripod around so I'm gonna try to just keep it as stationary as possible. So one fourth of that. So that was nutmeg. And you can just get, you can get these anywhere, like any kind of, this like seasoning is super easy to find. I'm gonna do one fourth teaspoon ground cumin. One fourth teaspoon pumpkin pie. Yeah, I know, Jeff's literally like right around the corner playing Destiny right now, so. We try to get as much stuff that we can done while Rory's napping, so. So that was one fourth teaspoon pumpkin pie spice, and then I just need one fourth teaspoon cinnamon. So this sounds like it's gonna be really sweet, but it's like because it's got pumpkin pie spice and cinnamon and stuff like that, but rip. Really, it's like as long as you don't add sugar, it actually are, they are savory flavors. So. Okay, so now that I've got, I'm gonna try to move this. I hope it doesn't like fuck everything up. But so now that I've got my little spices in there, so it's like one fourth of each spice, I'm just gonna mix that. And then once it's like nice and mixed, I'm just gonna add one fourth, no, I'm gonna add one cup of pureed, well it's not pureed, it's just like mashed butternut squash. And how I did that was I took one of these giant raw squashes and I cut it in half and then I just roasted it in the oven for about an hour and a half on 350. And so I've got, you can see like it's still pretty hot. I just took them out of the oven not long ago. But it only took about one half of a squash to get a cup of it. So, so now I'm just gonna mix that. And you wanna just mix it until it gets about the consistency of mashed potatoes. So I got this recipe from, the original recipe is from PETA on their website, cause they've got like a living section on their website. And um, this is like a modified, like my own kind of version of it. So you wanna add that, and then you wanna add one fourth cup of ground cashews. So I already went ahead and grounded this so that way you guys don't have to hear my blender like usual. So this kind of adds like a creaminess to it. So it's going to be kind of cheesy because of that. Yeah. So yeah, ground cashews kind of like act as like a cheesy flavor and kind of a cream base as well. They, they're very multi-dimensional. Like I use cashews in like a lot of different types of cooking. about like a half teaspoon of salt to it. Whoa, why is it so dark? Weird. So then you wanna add about one half teaspoon of salt. That is so weird, so dark. Let me move this. That's better, kind of. So one half teaspoon of salt. And I use kosher salt because it like, I don't know, the lady that I bake for told me that it melts better. Go away. <laughs> Butternut squash. Her hair does look really good, right? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Nothing. You're gonna eat it? Even though you don't like squash? Yeah, of course. Mm. I know, I'm excited. Butternut squash ravioli. Oh, thank you. 
Alright, see you guys. Bye. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. See you later. Why are you coming back now? You're gonna make me burn all my shit. She's burning everything. I'm not burning it, you're just gonna make me burn everything. This tripod is so like touch it's in like blast. Is it? Probably. Anyways, I'm putting nutritional yeast in it now. Why would you put nutritional yeast? Because it's cheesy. It's cheesy. It's cheesy. It's cheesy. She That's likes why. to call that nooch. Nooch. That's what she it is. She calls it nooch. That's what it is. Where'd my fourth cup go? Oh. So anyways, I'm, I'm probably gonna... not going to stay. I'm, I'm in the middle of stuff, but I will. Yeah, he's fighting bosses. I'm playing video games. Something. I am lucky I get to eat her food. Mm -hmm. He's reluctant to try a lot of things because he's not used to new things, but he likes most of the things I make, I think. Right, kind of? Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys. Okay, bye. See you later. Thanks for coming. What's going on this Twitch stream thing? I keep telling him to do it. I think he said somebody took his username, so like he, he wants his like username or something, and someone else has it. I don't know. Something about that is why he's not doing it. Take your headphones off for a second. Yeah. Um, yeah, he makes a cameo. He, I don't know. He just does that sometimes. But anyway, so while y'all were distracted, I put in one fourth cup of this just because I really like Nooch. It, Nutritional yeast, it tastes like cheese. I think I've mentioned that like 20 times in all my things. Um, so my, like, so this is looking a little like dryish a little bit. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more butter to kind of make it more, cause you want it like the consistency of mashed potatoes, like I said. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more butter just to kind of soften it up. Cause I, I normally, so I normally do this recipe with pumpkin. I normally do it with like um, canned pumpkin and right now I'm just trying to modify it using squash. Uh, it's starting to look right. Uh, her name's pronounced Ferrora, but we just call her Rory. I think I've only called her Ferrora like a couple of times. It's like Ferrora, but yeah, exactly. Like Aurora with an S. Okay, so let me make sure that I've got everything from my ravioli. I think it's done. Oh, I'm gonna add like a dash, literally just like a dash of white pepper to it. like it just kind of looks like mashed potatoes and like I said I normally do this recipe with pumpkin but I don't see why you can't use butternut squash because it's kind of like the same thing I, I think they I don't know they kind of all taste the same you season them all the same they taste the same to me anyway so for the next part making ravioli I've tried to make my own dough and it's a pain in the ass it's really hard to do um, I mean it's not okay it's not that hard but like I don't have time for that so I'm just gonna do the easy way, which is, I bought wonton wrappers, or these are technically gyoza wrappers. I got them from my local Asian grocery store. And you just wanna read the ingredients and make sure they don't have egg in them, because a lot of wonton wrappers do, but a lot don't. So just double check, make sure it doesn't have egg in it. Um, but yeah, just wonton wrappers, and it literally just acts like a ravioli wrapper. So let me start my water boiling. So I'm going to start my water to boil and then, so to make the ravioli, I've got laid out all my little wonton wrappers and you just want to take one teaspoon and take like a scoop of your mixture here 
and just put it in the middle. So I'm gonna show you guys, actually I don't know if I can do this one handed, hold on, let me see if he's busy, give me a second. I might actually be able to use him for something. Are you busy at the moment? What? Are you busy, busy? On the, can you help me for one second? getting assistance, hold on. Can you just hold it for a second so I can show them how to like do this? Yeah. All right, yeah, I can see what I'm doing. So for this, like to make the ravioli, all you do is put a teaspoon, that might be too much, but you put like a teaspoon of the ravioli insides right there, and then just kind of wet your hand a little bit. Like I got a cup of water right here and wet the outsides of it. That way it'll stick together. And then all you do is fold it over. And then I take a fork and I just pin the sides down. And some of it may come out. You just, the important thing is that you wanna make sure that it's completely sealed because otherwise all your insides will completely come out. So that one's kind of rough, but it, that's kind of the idea. You just want to make sure that it's completely sealed all the way around, otherwise all this stuff's going to come right out of it. So yeah, like these ones are a little hard, so I'm probably not going to use them. So I'm just going to use the soft ones so I can bend them pretty easy. But yeah, I just want to be able to show you guys what I was doing with that. Cool. I can take over from here, I think. Ooh, thank you. So I hope that made sense. I hope you guys get that. Let me try to set my phone up. I hate this tripod. Okay, cool. So here's our ravioli. It just, mine fell apart because my wrappers are a little too hard. They're, they come frozen. So if you're ever in trouble finding these, they're usually in the frozen section. Um, so these ones are a little like, some of them aren't quite ready, but I'm trying to make them work. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start over with that, but you guys get the idea. Let me try to make it just like, a, I'm just going to make a couple and then I'm going to show you guys how to make the sauce for it. So. Cool. I'll try to use this time to check out what you guys are saying. So I've got the music on a Spotify time capsule playlist, which makes me feel really old because this is like all the stuff I listen to and it's calling it basically like an oldies mix. So that's what's on right now. So yeah, just here's a good one. So just make sure it's completely sealed. Oh, that's cool. So you can see like through it. So see how none of the filling is coming out of the sides and it's completely sealed all the way around because if you don't do that, it will completely dissolve in your water and everything will just pour out of it, which sucks because I've had like, I've made like so many ravioli like recipes that just completely dissolved because I didn't do it right. Like I didn't seal them correctly. But other than that, I mean, it's like other than roll like sealing them completely. I mean, this recipe is super easy. Like, I haven't really done a whole lot. Um, I know, like, I feel like this stuff's timeless. I don't know why it's considered an oldies mix. Like, come on. I don't know. Sorry, this is like the time consuming part is making a couple of these. Probably just gonna do like three or so just to show you guys how to do this. And then I'll make the rest after I'm off. Cool, my water's almost boiling. Three good ones right now. 
And not all of them turn out great. So you, like, I would always recommend making a little extra because like I've had so many that like I thought were perfect and they fell apart. So like just while they're boiling. So to cook these, it's really simple. Um, you just wanna have a pot of boiling water. And since they're not actual ravioli dough and they're wonton wrappers, once, once your pot starts like completely boiling, I'm gonna wait for a few seconds. You just throw them in and it takes about two to three minutes. You wanna make sure that they float. So they'll probably, I'm not sure if they will or not, but they probably will sink once I put them in and then once they start floating, that's usually when they're done. It only takes two to three minutes. So I'm gonna start working on the sauce now, which is, again, pretty easy. So I'm making a brown butter sage sauce. And of course it's vegan, so I'm gonna do earth balance butter. So one fourth cup of that. And once, and that takes a few minutes, so I'm gonna start that. Ah, I hate this tripod thing. I don't even know what to call it, just a little. It's gonna be a little sideways, probably. So I'm just gonna take one fourth cup of that. That's probably way more than a fourth of a cup, but yeah. I'm gonna wipe my hand off. Okay, so I've got one fourth cup butter, and I'm just gonna put that in my saucepan. And you wanna put that on medium heat, and it's gonna take a few minutes, but it'll start to brown. And you just wanna make sure you're watching it, because this is like a really important part where if you take your eyes off it for a second, it goes from brown to burnt very quick. So just kind of watch it, keep stirring it, and then there'll be a point where it does turn brown. And that's when it's like, you're ready to take it off the heat. Okay, so my pots of water is boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw my raviolis in there. So I'm just doing three just to kind of show you guys. So just drop them in there and they did sink. So you can see they're completely gone. So I'm gonna do a timer for like three minutes. And then once they come, once they start to float, then they're just done anyway. So you can just take them out with like um, a slotted spoon. And then you're gonna throw them in your brown butter sauce. But if your brown butter sauce isn't ready, you can just put them to the side and then throw them in last minute. So. Uh, Jeff's in the living room. He's playing Destiny right now. That's like his thing. Like when Rory takes a nap, that's kind of like our time to just kind of do whatever we can for 20 minutes or so. So yeah, I'm just like stirring this butter, trying to make sure it doesn't burn. But I'm just gonna hang out and chat for a second. That is really hot. I can't put my face near that. Um, yeah, I can post the ingredients. Um, it's really simple. It's um, just a few things. So I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and post the ingredients later. I'll try to take a picture of it. The other thing I've made, it just depends on like what I'm in the mood for. I've made so many different things that it just kind of depends on what I'm feeling. Like today I'm feeling ravioli. I normally, like I said, I normally do pumpkin. Um, but I'm gonna try in the butternut squash because like I said, I've grown way too many squashes, so I just want to get rid of them. Vegan butter, uh, it's made out of vegetable oil, um, salt, natural flavor, uh, sunflower lectin, I don't know what that means, uh, a natto extract for color. That's, that's it. Um, Yep, that's it. So there's other brands that are like technically vegan. Um, I think Smart Balance is vegan, but it's just not certified vegan. But I mean, there's a lot of like margarines and vegetable spreads that are accidentally vegan. But that one is like specifically vegan. Like they're they're certified vegan. It is so dark. There you go.
see it's I'm still working on this it's like it's gonna just take a minute but like once it starts to brown it's like ready to go like you want to like take it off immediately so it'll just take a minute thank you um what other kind is good um I think that smart balance is good I have that here I'll show you um, we use that too because I looked it up online and it says that it is vegan it's just not certified vegan so like I don't like I don't know exactly what that means but I, all I know is that the ingredients are vegan okay so our raviolis are starting to float you can kind of see them here like floating at the top so they're very delicate so you just want to kind of take them out and I'm just going to transfer them to my other plate until I'm ready for the sauce. Because I don't want to overdo it. So. So, yeah, they're very delicate. So, just be super careful with them when you take them out. And, yeah. So, I'm going to turn off my pot of boiling water because I'll finish cooking these when I'm off of here. Move this. Trying to like not spill it. Okay. So once the sauce starts to brown, it'll be super quick. I'll be pretty much done after that. Um, but like I said, it's just kind of like just pay attention to it, watch it, and how long does it take to make? I. It just depends, like I'm talking through it, so it's taking me way longer than it should. Um, I've made this before, I think, without talking through it, and it's pretty quick, it's really not that hard. Um, it seems like a lot, it seems like a lot of work, but it's really not, and it's like also something that, it's very like simple ingredients, and it's pretty, pretty healthy, like as far as like it's a wholesome thing, and it's easy to prepare, so it's kind of fun to cook for other people, so you can kind of impress them, like I made ravioli, you know? But um, I'm raising Rory vegan, but obviously when she's old enough, like she can make her own choices. I'm not gonna like force anything upon her. Like I don't make Jeff do anything. He, you know, eats a lot of my food on his own and that kind of thing. Like I don't believe in like pushing people to that because they'll never want to do it if you do that. So I'm gonna just cook her vegan food because that's all I cook is vegan. So how do I cook uh, squash first? So I'll show you. Um, so. You take it, cut it in half, and then put it in the oven at 350 for an hour and a half, and that's it. But you want to make sure you put it face, like the, not face down, but like, you want to put it like this down, and then you want to put some water in the pan. So like, I use like a cake pan, and I just put a little water in the bottom and face it down, and then um, put it in there for like an hour and a half. why this is like so dark so this is taking forever I might even like turn it up just a little bit I wouldn't recommend that but just to kind of speed it up a little bit I'm gonna turn it up um, I know this playlist is really good it's called time capsule and it's like my personal time capsule based on like the stuff that I like so I'm like, I like this. Spotify's got it going on tonight. Sometimes they're, I don't know, it's hit or miss. Like sometimes they, like I had a Halloween mix the other day that was just like a mix between Thriller over and over and over and Post Malone, which is like cool, but I don't know how that's a Halloween mix, but whatever. Okay, this is so close to getting done. So I'll just like talk to you guys for a second. I'm gonna like, as soon as I stop paying attention to it, I guarantee it's gonna start to burn, which is great. So that's what I want. I want it to start to brown. So. Cool. Right, Puzzle is great, but I don't feel like that's a Halloween like playlist. Um, advice for people that still live at home that want to go vegan, uh, just do the best you can, like, when you're out. Try to, like, talk to your parents about, like, why you want to go vegan or want to try going vegan or even just trying, like, something, like, on Meatless Mondays if that's something you want to do at your house. Like, offer to cook for them. Like, say, like, hey, I learned this super fun recipe. You don't even have to tell them it's vegan. Just be like, hey, I learned this super cool recipe. I'd love to cook dinner for you. And I feel like your parents would just be stoked that you want to fucking cook dinner. 
um, give them a night off kind of thing. So I, that's like my suggestion to try to ease them into it if they're really against it, but they might be more open-minded to it than you think. Um, I also recommend showing a documentary like called What the Health or um, Earthlings. Earthlings is really graphic. I'll admit that it's really sad, but that is like the go-to, like if you need a reason to go vegan, like that is the one. Um, well, what the health is like great for like a health standpoint like why to do it kind of thing and um earthlings is great for the like ethical standpoint but it is it is hard to watch but it, it will be like the thing that like i know that's what kind of made me like oh, all right but um what did i use to season the filling i used um so i used white pepper white pepper pumpkin pie spice nutmeg not made. Cumin and cinnamon, and then nutritional yeast, and then salt, and then that's pretty much it. Oh God, it's hot as shit. I need an apron or something so I don't keep burning myself. So the lights that I have back there, they're actually like, I can change them, which is really cool. Here, well, I'm waiting for the sauce to burn. I don't mean burn, but you know what I mean. I'll show you guys, it's super cool. So this is like our workout room. We got like Jeff's guitars on the wall and stuff, but I love these lights cause I can change them, which is really cool. I can do like jumps and stuff and like fades and different things, but I have it on like Halloween mode right now, which is like either purple. Why is it not doing it? Oh, so purple or like orange. Wait, that's green, orange. Or purple. So like for holidays, I change them. We also have like matching toilet bowl lights. Let me see if I can get it to work. Yeah. Our toilet bowl light, like lights match. Cause we can do like different colors and stuff. So we have like our whole house, like Halloween theme right now. God, this is so close to burning. But in a good way. Like I want it to brown. You can see the progress. It's starting to get like some color, like where it's turning a little brown, so that's like what you want. Yeah, it just takes a minute. I just got that at Walmart, the lights. Like I just, um, they were like 30 bucks. Not expensive at all. And they come with like a remote so you can change everything. I got them at Walmart. Okay, this is getting to the point where it's like on the verge of browning. So with that, next I'm gonna add, so I picked these from my garden, just sage leaves. Um, you just wanna throw in like eight. I always pick a couple extra just in case I burn them. <laughs> so I'm just gonna throw in like eight sage leaves cause my butter is starting to look a little, like it's getting to that point. And those only take a couple seconds. I'm just gonna throw them all on there. So you just wanna let them sizzle a little. It does not take long. Um, you will burn them if you don't let them like, if you don't take them off the heat pretty quickly. Okay. So those seem like pretty done. So next I'm just gonna take, and it smells really good. It smells awesome. Um, so now that those look pretty crisped up, I'm gonna take them off the heat because you don't want them to burn. And I'm gonna let that sit for just a second while I get my next stuff ready. So next is just gonna be one fourth cup of vegetable stock or vegetable broth, whichever. Um, what was I doing? I'm missing something. Um, lemon and garlic. Okay, so you wanna put in one garlic clove but you wanna make sure you do this after it's taken off the heat and you wanna very quickly put your other liquids in, otherwise the garlic will burn. It does not take long, it takes like a couple seconds and it's burnt. So I'm going to go ahead and put the garlic in real quick. I wonder if I can bring this over here without catching anything on fire. Okay, so hope that doesn't burn. Okay, it's all right. Sorry it's so dark in here. It's starting to get like dark out. All right, so just one clove of garlic. And 
And then you're just gonna add Like I said, your pan is so hot, you can just add the garlic and it'll start to cook off the heat. So like right now, I don't have it on heat. I've got it on like wood, which probably is not a smart idea, but it's whatever, it's what I have available space for. Um, and then I'm looking for my one fourth cup, there it is. So then you just wanna add one fourth cup of vegetable broth or stock, whichever. And that'll stop everything else from like burning. And then you just want to add the juice of one lemon, and that's it. And for that, I just use a lemon juicer, this thing. So now I'm gonna put this back over on the heat a little bit. And I only have three raviolis just cause that's all I wanted to start with just to show you guys. So it is a very like watery sauce and that's totally fine. Um, that's just kind of how it is. So I'm gonna throw my raviolis back in there. Wait, oh, okay. I'm gonna turn the heat back on to like medium just so they can kind of cook a little longer. Like I said, I'm just doing three right now to show you guys. And then you could top it with like pine nuts. Like I've got pine nuts over here. You can toss it with like toasted pine nuts or toasted, I don't know, pumpkin seeds or whatever you want. Just kind of give it like a crisp something to it, like some kind of crunch. But that's pretty much it. And I'll post a picture after I get like all the raviolis in here. But you can kind of see it's starting to like cook more. And that's pretty much it. And yeah, so I'll just kind of see what you guys are saying, answer any questions if I can, and then I'm gonna go make the rest of this so I can eat dinner. Uh, okay, cool. Well, you guys are, I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about right now, but anyways, um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, send me a DM or whatever. I'll try to get back to you if I can. And yeah, so I'll see you guys uh, next Sunday, or talk to you guys or read your comments, whatever. Anyways, bye.